World Conference on Women. In this context, we are honored to have with us today the chairpersons of the Commission for Social Development and the Commission on the Status of Women to deliver remarks on the progress made over the last 20 years. It is my true honor to invite Her Excellency Mrs. Simona Mireva Mikulescu, permanent representative of Romania to the United Nations and a chairperson of the 53rd and 54th sessions of the Commission for Social Development of the Commission for Social Development to address the Council. Madam Ambassador, I give you the floor. Dear Mr. Vice President of ECOSOC, um, Your Excellencies, first of all, of course, I can't refrain from congratulating you for the very consistent and vibrant discussions that we have uh, been having during the last two days. And of course, it's a special honor for me to attend uh, this um, uh, ECOSOC integration segment in uh, this uh, capacity, especially because this year's topic um, is pretty timely and pertinent also from the perspective of the commission that I represent and have the honor of chairing. Productive employment and decent work for all is one of the three major pillars of social development as identified 20 years ago at the World Summit in Copenhagen, the World Summit for Social Development that you just mentioned, and eradication of poverty and social integration based on the enhancement and protection of all human rights uh, complement the vision of the heads of states and governments present at that historic, I could say, event. The Copenhagen Declaration and Program of Action recognize that productive work and employment are central elements of development as well as decisive elements of human identity. Full and adequately and uh, appropriately remunerated employment is an effective method of combating poverty and promoting social integration. At this World Summit, member states committed to promote productive employment and decent work for all in their efforts to achieve social development. Promoting productive employment and decent work were considered both as goals and as means to combat poverty and promote social integration. As the key UN body in uh, charge with the follow-up and the implementation of this Copenhagen Declaration and Program of Action, our commission constantly has been examining aspects pertaining to achieving employment. For instance, the priority themes of the 35th session as well as of the 45th and 46th sessions were dedicated to the full employment and decent work as a further recognition of the need for policies that adequately and efficiently combat unemployment and promote development. Our session, the 53rd session of the Commission, held in February this year, as you might remember, and I hope you remember, mm -hmm. was devoted to rethinking and strengthening social development in the contemporary world. Member States highlighted the central role of decent work to achieve sustainable development. Discussions pointed out that inclusive, equitable, and sustainable development can only be achievable through promoting employment and decent work opportunities for people living in poverty and for other vulnerable and disadvantaged, uh, disadvantaged groups and individuals. As you are well aware, since Copenhagen, the world did not reach the goal of full employment. There were over 201 million people unemployed in 2014. Nearly 40% are between the ages of 15 and 24. An additional 280 million jobs need to be created by 2019 to close the global employment gap caused by the recent global crisis. These rates of unemployment remain unacceptably too high. Furthermore, our efforts must also address those informal and vulnerable jobs as these perpetuate the risk of falling back into poverty. In developing countries, more than half of the population work in the informal sector without social protection or decent working conditions. Even in countries with advanced economies, jobs have become less stable. Job insecurity and the rise of poorly paid, precarious work 
have led to growing income insecurity. The centrality of employment and decent jobs for people-centered sustainable development has been well recognized also here in, in your debates. Decent jobs enable people to gain income necessary to sustain livelihoods, to improve the quality of life and well-being, and, created, and create a path to escape poverty at the individual level while contributing in, uh, to economic growth by enhancing labor market participation. During our 53rd session of the Commission, speakers welcomed efforts aimed at prioritizing employment creation, including those aimed at bringing more women into the labor market. Member states also focused on the importance of adequately preparing workers for the labor market through lifelong learning and through matching skills training with market needs. Among good practice policies shared, member states referred to the promotion of small and medium-sized enterprises or the creation of green economy jobs. Creating jobs in the sectors that contribute to preserving or restoring the quality of the environment, such as forest con conservations, uh, sustainable agriculture, water treatment, and renewable energy uh, in rural areas, not only sustain economic growth, but also reduce risks for further natural resources depletion and environmental degradation. Your Excellencies, expanding decent work opportunities will obviously create positive synergies among the social, economic, and environmental uh, dimensions of sustainable development. Employment and decent work are critical to reducing poverty and fostering social inclusion. And therefore, achieving full employment and decent work for all must be considered as a major goal, as well as a means to achieve sustainable development in the post-2015 development framework. The issue of vulnerable jobs in the informal sector would require further attention in the work towards the post-2015 development agenda from the perspective of our commission. In addition, decent work would contribute to social and political stability through social dialogue and participatory mechanisms for policy design and implementation. In this regard, ILO core labor standards need to be implemented in all countries. In promoting employment and decent work, special attention should be also given to vulnerable and disadvantaged social groups, as I said. We pay a particular attention to these groups in our commission. Member states acknowledged also during our session that in particular youth, high unemployment and un, uh, underemployment uh, remain some of the most difficult challenges and require special attention. If not effectively addressed, this will not only create a lost generation, but it will also lead to social tensions and may threaten social cohesion. Finally, from the perspective of our commission, uh, I would like to leave you with, uh, with uh, our main message that achieving the core objectives of poverty eradication, full employment, and decent work for all, as well as achieving social integration based on the enhancement and protection of all human rights are cornerstones for the sustainable future we all want. In this respect, policies must be coherent and people-centered if they are to produce the desired impact. It is also important from the perspective of our commission to bear in mind that, paraphrasing a very famous quote of an even more famous political figure, social development is sustainable development and sustainable development is social development once and for all. Thank you very much. I thank very much Her Excellency Ambassador Simona Micovescu, permanent representative of Romania to the United Nations for her important statement in her capacity as chairperson of the Commission for Social Development. It is now, now my honor to invite His Excellency Mr. Antonio de Aguiar Patriota,